आवाज जो कोड होगी, बात करोगे तो भी लाइव हो रहा है, अभी लाइव क्या कर रहे हो? अभी तो टेस्टिंग चला था।
We'll start in a few minutes, just kind of being silent for some time.
the the paper between uh, the, the, the script of the paper today we are going into a digital world of information. So a moving information used to be in the the mind it came to the books of the paper, now it's coming into digits. But this continuum of science continues it's a continuum of science science that drives that, that leads to principles and concepts of science. The principles of science they are same across the globe. You do experiment here and identical conditions or you do experiment anywhere else on this planet, the result results will be the same. And this applies indeed many of the principles they, they apply to the whole universe across and not about the area that we need to see the work related to physics and all that. The solar is a family, and this concept, the, the earliest description of this and the concept comes from Mahavadis, Mahavadis, Adhyay 6. Let me say, Vasudev Kutumkam. Vasudha means the art. Kutumkam is one of the family. Four are art in the family. And as you see, as the one of the the the
Jadi buku teman-teman, teman-teman kan sudah dibuka dan dilihat kan di sini kita akan cek semua buku dari Jesus dua jam lagi di sana. Nada satu lagi, hanya di luar diri yang menjadi discover antara modernity is he is on the journey of new and unknown pony and I will be very much on it. Because of the general dream of the discover of the pony, the red and black of the pony is there. Because all the people that are in the 
the glycemic index will be put in the same time glycemic index. If you take rice, then the glycemic index. If you take wheat, then the glycemic index. But if you take the index, the glycemic index will be low. And this is one of the glycemic index. If you look at the hydrogen glycemic index, it is a little bit by the data.
But if you change your way to play like it, I'm not going to be able to play like it. It's so good. When you want to change your way, 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 when you want to change your way. Look at how much my life it has. जब तेरे को तो उस समय जब तेरे को इंडिया का हर बंद वो हम लोग देख इंडिया में आया तो बच्चों से करते हैं वो आने वाले बच्चों से करते हैं पर बट व्हाट वी हैव इन द इंडियन में इस दैट दिस इस पेरेंट प्रोसेस इन इट बीइंग लुक टू हेयर एंड दिस इस एंडोवर्सिटी में लाइन लोगों के लिए � for for five million years, and then and then but there are two million in the chain, which is not the biggest in the chain, in the chain, there are more than that, in the middle of the second, you see that something like that, whatever you think of the time in the chain, you know that I want to try that. But if you look at that, how long 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 this is the kind of thing that I like. This is the kind of thing that I like. This is the kind of thing that I like. This is the kind of thing that I like. This is how we need to be the solar radiant of the people. I actually think that that will be like a degree. Of course, from the sun from the perspective, this time is still on the perspective of the age, very, very short time. But trade is so that it does not get any kind of kind of work required. But in the same way, it's going to be the same way. For the years, the this is our subject that we have had with them by one degrees, and most of this has happened in the previous century or for this in this century, because of the the uh, the accelerated uh, anthropogenic activities. You know everything you all study in the school that you have a vehicle cycle, you have a car cycle, and this is a cycle actually through which the matter moves on. It, it, it actually makes a balance on the process in the plant and it makes on the species balance, it makes a nutrient balance and all of those things. But this imbalance is now being dominated because we are using fossil fuels with that huge amount of not only the protein but a huge amount of carbon dioxide to the environment, there are huge number of industrial waste, human population dominance and species development can imbalance. And this is the thing that made the personality to put the planet in hand from the rest, it also puts the human hand from the rest, it puts the head of the head of the other species. We have an unborn, we have an unborn proximity of species and also what is the law of the species. Now, after facing this COVID-19 pandemic, the concept has a lot of lovely it is known by the World Health Organization. So what health now recognizes that the health of the human being itself is not enough. Health of the only domesticated animal is not enough. Health of only, only, only cultivated and little bit of is not enough. Actually what health means the health of all organisms in a balance. It's an integrated, unified approach to balance of the mind. Health of people and animals are very People, animals, and environment in biological in a biological sense or in a scientific sense, this means the plants, animals, and microorganisms. Both microorganisms that are harmful to us and the organisms, microorganisms that are useful to us. Human, human beings have harbored close to about 2 to 3 billion microorganisms, which is including which are very useful to the human body and the health is maintaining our health, mostly in the in this perspective, you look at the plants and animals, just like human beings in the last few years, plants and last few years, you will be one of the most oldest foods are the millets. We will be hardly consumed at this time. Year 2023 has been declared 
and the hero who is Millet, 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 Sar, say the Department of Badra, Ragi, Kodo Millet, Mohon Millet, and all that. And this chapter is actually portrayed that the world's 50 percent of the population is produced in India. And we have a, we have a competition only with, to a limited extent with countries in Africa where the millets are produced. And therefore, there is a huge scientific opportunity for healthy food based on millets from India, for which we have a rich heritage, we have been consuming it, and there are scientific reasons. These food, the millets, they have a, they have a high fiber content, high blood fiber content is going to be good as a free battery to, to be used by these use, useful microorganisms that stay with us and they, they consume it and they make very certain products out of these fibers which are which are very beneficial for human health. They are also low glycemic index, which have a problem particularly in the urban population, the problem of obesity and over nutrition and cancer. We need to actually innovate new products which without without changing the composition of retain, we must retain that the high fiber content, but incorporate taste into millets. If we do that, because your first choice of food is taste. Food has actually had two choices. Your first your your lifetime choice of food is food you take at the time. So if you take the palm millet from Bangla in the time road, through throughout your life you like that food. It is very difficult to lately incorporate food the choices except the the speed and all that that actually has no but your your but you will always like the food you take in the Thai food, so it is the society must have incorporated millet food into infant food, infant food formulas, so that it can be light and we should be to innovate products for a healthy, healthy world based on millet. Well, if we talk about food in, it, in an evolutionary perspective, evolution is a very, very slow process, but you look at last 50 or 100 years, how food has changed. Particularly what we call as what we call as a, the, the prepared food or there are many things, other names, you, you call them by that. But these fast foods, but these foods are the foods which are not adapted to human gastrointestinal physiology. Because for million years or hundreds of thousand years, we have been consuming food in alignment with the nature and the body is actually stabilized with this kind of digestion and use of these foods. But last 50 or 100 years, our food habits have substantially changed to which our, our <coughs> gastrointestinal physiology has not adapted. That's why we call as a, you have all adverse effects of such food and we it's, it's, we must be progressive. There are now, there is a whole business about it. There are companies who need to, because as society become more aware of the foods, ancient food actually which are useful from a health perspective. So they are working on what was the cave, cave and food. Cave and food is because we don't, we made food into a structured food you take it breakfast, lunch and dinner. But caveman food you to be you is like a monkey. You take little bit throughout the day, and this is how you keep your balance. Now it is there are companies, the products you may come which will be similar to caveman food, which probably will be healthy because there is a as the growing awareness comes into society for getting uh, health out of the food, the more products will come out of that. Wheat we call it because it's a light food among, among the cereals. But you know, wheat is the probably the youngest food. This younger cereal, it is not even 10,000 years old, 9,000 years old. The kind of wheat that we eat, this is hexaploid wheat, it is a critical mass kind of wheat. India can be mostly the durum and other than the durum. It, it, it is not even uh, 10,000 years old, but we all adopted it so fast. Today, millets are much, much older food, and they are actually discarded 
So we are going to re review our policies from a health perspective and do what the scientific doctors do to make those foods which are healthy more tasty. Food has many questions and many meanings to global health. Today's food, as I said, is from the, the, the transition, there is a religion that food are not linked to accept meeting the requirement of certain vitamins and energy. It was not raised in, in, in allopathic system of medicines. But today, there are huge number of new disciplines with respect to food. This includes a large number of questions. You have food drug interactions, you have clinical nutrition, food and microbiota in gastrointestinal, uh, nutrigenomics, how the food you can do actually uh, impacts your functional genomics of human body, food safety and toxicity, diet for better health, new product formulations, food recipes, how they affect, you know, food is very really unique uh, trait. If you choose the same ingredients, two persons will make food which will have two different tastes. There was a, the, the government name was a physicist who got a Nobel Prize in physics. And we thought of that I go to the, uh, learn about cooking, went to a, to a big hotel, or to a chef, and I want to learn cooking. I said to what is the person is a scientist in Nobel Laureate. So, you know, the, the, the whole hotel, they, go, they take a big uh, one coat, they put all eggs together, boil the eggs. He said, uh, why did you put this all the eggs in the boiling water? He says, the boiling egg. What it makes, it actually aggregates proteins and you get twilight. He said, who said that the, the, this aggregation of proteins, the, the egg white? This will happen at 100 degrees centigrade when water is boiling. He said, there will be dust there. He said, why don't it can be 50 degrees for a longer time and can be 60 degrees, 70, 80. So he said, this is a, not a research laboratory, it's a, it's a hotel. So he put up an experiment in the hotel itself. And he put up those, uh, the, the, the egg form they put into hot water different temperatures. He observed the, the population of those proteins. How the, what is the structure of these proteins that are, which are populated, particularly the egg meat. And then he was calculated that can I create the temperature based on the structure of these populated proteins and the, you know, precedence? 0.5 degrees centigrade. You look at this, you can tell that this is the temperature at which so this is kind of a scientific temperament to ask questions. In, in, in case of what you know, uh, uh, force paradigm, you said, you know, Microsoft published a book sometime in 2017 on that day. Fourth paradigm, uh, research of fourth paradigm, something like that. And CSIR had an institute in Bangalore fourth paradigm institute. Earlier it was uh, called the uh, Institute of Central of Mathematical Environment. So fourth paradigm again starts with uh, how to handle data. So again, a physicist, he was a personal assistant. And physicist was a kind of a purist physicist. He used to have very good data, large number of data. So whatever data is useful, he used to put into publication, make inferences. But the amount of data that was not used stayed with his uh, personal assistant. And this person's assistant was actually scientific minded and he said, what should I do with this data? The professor is not using it, he's already published. He started reading physics <laughs> and used this data and made some kind of a new inferences. I, I learned from this, it is correct that this is the first origin of the fourth paradigm data, which is a large amount of data which has not been, not been subject to any kind of inference, how to handle it and how to make new inferences. And this whole data is now the basis of our new technologies and also including AI machine learning and you know, the new aspects to go into this. Uh, <coughs> New technologies by the generative uh, AI and all that. Do you have more of them?
You know how many cities there are a lot of ways that we increasing the problem of a diabetes world over, including India. Huge number of sweeteners are available. Some of them are synthetic and some of them are natural. And all of them have some problems of stereocyte from a stevia. It's a plant, it's cultivated in our area. Dimethyl is called dimethyl, dimethyl, so we call it again for carbohydrate. Sucralose. Sucralose, you know, sucralose. It's a dimer, it's a dimer of one fructose unit and one glucose. It's a table sugar. And at one time, uh, because you produce, say, you know, we, we had a resistance to uh, table sugar at one time, we produced now many of them. And Moldova, uh, uh, there was a lot of food available. And there was a photo of can the sucrose be converted into an industrial product? And one of the products that was, Henry Sars was trying to grow sucrose to be portrayed at the three of the hydroxyl groups called chloride. Because they tried to grow it could be a useful product. And this product was synthesized by an uh, Indian scientist, Indian researcher, Park Harmonis, who may be some of the scientists we have, and what that they both work in the in UK. And when he synthesized this product, trying to grow some crops, he told his professor that I have synthesized this product. It is with me. And it was in the evening, the professor was going out of the lab, he said, You test this. So test and two spelling, T-E-S-E -E and T-A-S-T-E. -E. Finally so that the professor is saying you taste it. And it looks very unusual that you tell to a student or to a researcher in the laboratory if anything you taste, it can be poison, it can be harmful. But he was sincere enough, and in, instead of T-E-S-E, -E, he actually tasted it. And that's one thing. He said, it's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. He said, if you taste it, it's very good. So you should not have honey, but it's wonderful. And that dry clover, sucrose, is today's sucrose, which has a business of billions of dollars as a, a, a sweet. We also want to have one of the sweet nuts. We, we uh, it's all over. This word called a cycles. Uh, cycles uh, by meaning it looks a bit psychological, but it has an alternate name called D e and Lose. You know, glucose has 16 isomers. D e and Lose is a carbon three and you know fructose. And so fructose is one which is the key reason for the dietary problems. If you go and look into the structure of sucrose, you have one glucose and one fructose. When we consume it, it is, it is split into glucose and fructose. Glucose metabolism in the body is actually regulated by insulin, but fructose creates a major problem. The major problem is because of the, the unregulated energy or accumulation that happens for fructose. This is a animal of fructose. It is present in very small quantities in wheat. It is also present in small quantities in apple and a couple of other foods. It is synthesized by an enzyme called thymoleapimerase. And this thymoleapimerase is present in a bacteria called hydrobacteria to make HS. It's a reversible reaction. So if you have fructose, you can make D-alumin out of it. D-alumin is almost, almost zero calorie. It's a natural sugar. And it's a happy food. And bulk sugar is good food for countries like India because we can go sugar in, all sugar in bulk, but then we go to sweets for any day nights. If you consume a sweetener in a small amount, the tablets or something else, we feel psychologically as a medicine. But this is the one product, DLO, which can be made from many sources, which are 
I mean, every industry based on so it can like apple for us, it can be from Kino, you know, even make directly from Kino Sugar. And future will see that DMOs will replace the table sugar in next couple of decades or so. Table sugar will go. It's a great opportunity indeed for the society. We have created all this DMO. So this is and uh, I think it is a given or one of the main. You know, where can we get table sugar in sugar cane? Sugar cane is one growth in today's time, which is actually many problems. It stands in that field for 11 months, probably one of the longest post one we grow on that field. It requires a huge amount of water. And then the problems discuss about what you get out of this uh, when you harvest at home because sugar is not expensive. It's possible that tomorrow when we, we talk about it and like you have the polymers, abundant polymers in straw, like uh, cellulose, which is largely which is a glucose uh, polymer. Glucose to fructose and easy conversion you can make by any isolates, glucose is particularly. And of course, the technologies will develop that this will replace the table sugar, which is most 80 percent uh, as sweet as table sugar, and will, will be of a great uh, positive health contribution globally. Now, second, now uh, I just talk about a few of them. We you know how we can recycle. How many of the hard work of the work? See, this is how the idea is more. Coffee lua is a coffee which is probably the most expensive coffee in the world. A one cup, prepared cup of coffee, coffee lua costs about hundred dollars. Otherwise you can get a coffee for one dollar in the world. But this coffee costs hundred dollars. How this coffee is prepared? There is an Asian cat called Simic. Um, Civic in Indonesia. This cat is fed with coffee beans, and next morning it's 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 excreta is taken, and this excreta is washed, the beans are washed, and then they are crushed and they are put into coffee. And this I think considered as one of the best flavored coffee if you buy. It, this powder of this coffee is thousand dollars per kilogram. And this is how you make business, how you can make business, how they are moving on. I think there's someone in Bangalore is actually promiscuously the because in Indonesia there are wild cats. In Indonesia someone is actually uh promiscuating this even in Bangalore, someone is trying to have these cats in the in a farm and get make this Kuba coffee for a business. And I know this is native to Rajasthan. And how many of you heard about the Hathi Cha paper? Hathi Cha paper is a paper. Somebody who was a noted scientist, he was uh, visiting uh, the sea lion depot, Amir, where the elephants go. And he observed that the, the elephant consumes huge amount of biomass daily. And this excita has a huge volume. So he says, having semi process for paper, and this all packaging paper goes in Hathi Thaap is made from the, the elephant. It's called a thing. It was covered in the press also for the Thank you very much for your kind attention. Yes. In terms of food, 
is fermented food more beneficial for our body rather than non-fermented food? Fermented, fermented food is uh, uh, better. Actually, to some extent, some amount of fermented food is required by the uh, yes. And if you look, look to, uh, to how we use fermented food all across the country, the products are different, but we use it. So actually, science is better on but observation was first that there is a vitamin B12. It only can come from two sources. One is the animal source, and second is the microorganism. We can make it. Now, we as a society, are we are a vegetarian society. So traditionally, we have on all kinds of every part of the country, you know, there is some fermented food for certain period of time. If you look at even even this region, the people make a rampage by eating burger and all that. If you go to south, they take rice water, leave it for some time, and then they, then they use it. And you have uh, all these idli, dosa, you go to north east, it's important, it's critical. So it takes care of your, your requirement for little bit detail. There are other calculations, less in Pachavia, because vegetarian diet is which is poor in the protein. This is one of the so people who say, how do you use uh, animal protein as you will be a good protein, good in terms of the combination of the essential amino acids, but any but in terms of an environment or an energy balance in the country, when they are on the planet, animal protein is a four to five times more expensive how it costs to the planet than the plant protein. And there are very big sources of uh, protein among plants also, including you have the, the, the soya bean, and of course dairy also we can feed within the vegetarian diet. So this is how we must, if we are to take, take care of the planet, we must move to the, the vegetarian sources of the protein. In terms of energy, we can put there are issues. Uh, so this is how the vegetarian diet and particular issues is that you have a little bit of a deficiency of an iron, particularly iron which can be uh, available to products for a similar mm -hmm. in that form. And uh, we use fermented food, this is uh, rich in vitamins, it's all practice everywhere. So this is part of tradition. This observation, this practice came out to in the society before knowing the so-called details of the scientific knowledge that we have today. Thank you very much, sir, for enlightening the audience from its change from the start, uh, like how science evolved from Darwin era to the present uh, state, and then uh, about all the milestone innovations about healthy eating habits and several foods. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for your thought provoking insights. Thank you.
I thank Professor Sangwa for agreeing to deliver the talk, the Tiglas talk. And it was a very, very informative talk for me at least. I, I guess you all benefited from this talk. Recently, CSR and Jasa have become an important platform for student connect, uh, student teacher connect, student scientist connect. Uh, and since 2017, uh, this program has been started. Uh, this actually triggers uh, the scientific uh, temperament and diversity around students. And it has been a very successful program of CSR for the last six years or so. I am sure if my hands is a little bit from Dr. Sangwan's talk. Thank you, Dr. Sangwan. I thank Dr. Panchali at Directors in the city, who is currently on the same tour. He has taken active interest in GDF programs and guided the GDF city. So I again thank Dr. Panchali for his guidance to the professor. I thank Vigyan Bhartan, Vigyan Rajasthan, who always recognized us in designing various GDF programs and partnering and co-organizing various GDF programs with us. Thank you, Vimati, as always. I must thank the DSC and CSRC and all the support staff who continuously work in the background and make all these programs success. So have a clap for our DSC. The person present here in the auditorium for attending this program. Thank you all. Thank you.